my name is ruthie welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be reviewing giving you an exclusive tour to a lesser ex executive one bedroom apartment located in kahao and dani just two minutes from the highway so it has underground parking for your cars it has high speed lifts so you don't have to struggle because it's a 10-story building you know and um, yep so this is the first layout i like the fact that the houses are painted white and the other thing is lighting is never going to be an issue in this apartment because we have large floor to ceiling windows and also the tiles are really good they're not the kawaii kindergarten tiles but they look quite classy um giving you an illusion of mkeko ambao but it's actually tiling and this is how the kitchen looks like so there are two typologies they are they have closed kitchen which goes for twenty five thousand kenyan shillings and the open kitchen which goes for twenty seven thousand kenyan shillings and they have a cut and rod that's a beautiful thing so this is the bathroom situation and i really like the fact that it's segmented differently it will be amazing if the toilet and bath were separate but for this one at least it's segmented differently you can put your shower curtain there and also the sink comes with cabinetry so you can store all your utilities there toilet um tissue paper holder soap holder amazing so this is the bedroom the wall the, the doors are also painted white so it's a really good thing that's the entryway to the from the door and then this is the window large windows as you can see the bedroom is also fitted with wall scones so it's a very beautiful apartment in the sense that you don't have to invest in buying you know light fixtures so this is the second layout and that's i think it's my favorite layout because the balcony is bigger the windows are even bigger so that's the entryway you can put your entryway console there or you can put dining table there or tv and that's the wall where you can put your tv as well and it comes fitted with light fixtures it's spacious enough i, I can say it's adequately spaced and that's where you can put your double shares and normal curtains so that you can enjoy the view let the light in and yes outside it's just a balcony so if you see the balcony this is a view from outside and because this is a 10-story building you'll be lucky if you live on the topmost floor because the view is simply amazing as you can see and this balcony can fit a washing machine and you can put like a small car garden um, in this second layout so this particular house has an interesting kitchen because the client really wanted um, fitted gas wood and knob perhaps so yeah that's why it looks a little bit different but i like it it's cute um and this is the bathroom as you can see same thing the sinks have a cabinetry and segmented differently so cold there yeah if you don't like the shower you can get a good shower from tungsten electricals if you're feeling nice and bowling and uh, this is the bedroom adequate lighting as you can see yeah i think this landlord really did well when it comes to painting because some houses are just so pathetic they have weird colors but this one is amazing you can walk around it so this is a third layout um the windows are not as big as the second layout but it's manageable the walls cons as you can see and one of the things i really like about this apartment is the fact that um, it is wheelchair accessible at the entryway they have underground parking high speed lift and it's actually close to get the rye market i think maybe like two minutes three minutes drive from there so you can actually eat fresh vegetables fresh fruits every single day if you want so that's a big plus about kahawa wendani um yeah you can just get nice variety of fruits from there and it's internet ready it has adequate water supply and it also has 24 hour security so you're covered on that end easy accessibility to the highway as, as i said it's just two minutes from the highway so back to the video this is the kitchen similar to the i think all the 
the how the kitchens are the same all the bathrooms are the same the only distinction is the lounge and the bedrooms um yes that's the only distinction when you come to this apartment please note you have to kind of like create your own cabinetry at the bottom because the space is just okay you'll see what i mean but as i said you have adequate water there's your siever and your stopper this is what i mean you have to um have create a little bit of shells in inside of the storage cabinet you can put pastels there if you want and you design this house nicely so this apartment is fairly new it was opened in on 1st of may 2023 um, so you'll be among the first tenants if you move in here. This is 27,000 Kenyan shillings. Yeah, 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 that's pretty much it. Um, yes, I like the tiling situation. I think this landlord tried to do himself and they did a good job. So the third bedroom, the um, because it is not adequately lit, it comes with extra cabinetry as you can see and then it also comes with double windows as you can see so that the other one on the left on the right is the first window then this is a second window so just to give you extra lighting and all the bedrooms are fitted with center light and wall scones so yeah as you can see yes i think this landlord really did a good job a lesser apartment what do you guys think? Is it worth 27k per month? Do you think? So when you come into this apartment, of course, you have to pay a deposit of 27,000 and then rent 27,000. There's also water fee, garbage fee, um, there's Safari Com internet if you want. I think starting from 3,500. Um, what else? Yeah not sure about the other service charges but that's pretty much it for this apartment um if you like this type of content please subscribe to my channel um yeah i'll try as much as i can to give you you know good houses because i'm also house hunting looking for houses that have value for money so if i come across something interesting i'll let you guys know and um yes yeah, so this is a balcony situation um, if you don't have a washing machine or a washer dryer, so this is where you hang your clothes. Two minutes from the highway, literally good transport. Yep, that's it from me. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye.